everyone welcome to this update video bienvenido a otro video i really hope you're doing great this morning as we'll be looking at what's happening across the caribbean so we can see on the satellite imagery of the north atlantic that there is a lot of activity within the vicinity of the northeastern islands and uh, most of that is offshore now but Aside from that, there's that other area of low pressure with some convection associated with it near the Azores and uh, nothing much is really happening in the main development region. But let's zoom into the Caribbean here. We can see all of this activity. It is associated with a trough of low pressure. So troughs are low pressure areas and uh, sometimes we see a lot of activity associated with them. And last night there was a lot of thunderstorms in parts of the Dominican Republic. But as I said, much of this is offshore now. Esta área de baja presión ha traído mucha lluvia y tormentas eléctricas a secciones del norte del Caribe. Eso incluye la República Dominicana, donde ayer sucedieron muchas cosas y algunas áreas incluso han experimentado cierto nivel de inundaciones. Sin embargo, gran parte de esta actividad se irá eliminando a medida que avance la semana. Other parts of the Northeastern Caribbean, such as some of the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and even the uh, Leeward Islands, received some rain over the past couple of days, some well-needed downpours, and uh, that is fantastic because it has been very dry in some areas. But others still need a substantial rainfall increase and will eventually get there because the rainy season will kick in uh, eventually, slowly but surely. Let's head on to the rainfall forecast for today and we're looking at it from Euro. So here we can see it. Lots of color within the vicinity of the Dominican Republic, parts of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, not so much the Leeward Islands anymore. Let's uh, zoom in closer to the region here. So some of these purple shadings are representing rainfall amounts up to around two and a half inches. So there could certainly be some additional rainfall activity as we head through today even some heavy downpours at times but we see some of those pink shadings popping up offshore so most of the rainfall for today will be offshore but our areas such as haiti and even some spots in the southern bahamas may experience some showers as we head through today let's zoom back out here so going to jamaica though much not expected today few showers may pass by especially in the afternoon hours Parts of eastern Cuba, same thing in the central and western part of Cuba. Much not expected. Cayman Islands, same story. And toward parts of Central America. However, in parts of southern Belize, uh, even Honduras and Nicaragua, especially in the east, a few showers may uh, move by. And then as we head down to Costa Rica, Panama, not a whole lot of rain expected, but there could still be some showers in some areas today. For the Pacific coast of Colombia, there is some thunderstorm activity developing this morning. Further inland is a bit drier, same thing for much of Venezuela. But going to the Guyanas, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, especially in the south for those uh, countries, it is likely that there may be some decent uh, rainfall as we head into later today, even some thunderstorm activity as well. But then as we head towards the vicinity of the ABC Islands, the rainfall chance is quite low but a few stray showers may move by same thing for much of the lesser antilles trinidad tobago grenada all the way through anguilla including barbados a few showers may move by and a few are moving by this morning for sure but overall we're not looking at a crazy amount of rainfall activity as we head through today for this area the main feature is the trough which extends into the region but as i've mentioned most of the rainfall today associated with it will be offshore all right looking at the wind forecast so as we see those darker shadings of purples and blues popping up winds are getting a bit stronger so across much of the caribbean today still going to be windy winds up to around 15 knots going up to 20 25 knots also a little bit windy in the gulf of mexico but as we head into later this evening the bahamas turks and caicos islands abc islands and even parts of the windward islands such as Trin uh, trinidad and tobago and grenada will get a little bit windier and it will be a little bit calmer within the vicinity of the northeastern islands so as we head into later today puerto rico virgin islands parts of the leeward islands and uh, the Dominican Republic as well will get a bit calmer, not going to be windy unless uh, there is a quick thunderstorm moving by or so.
But how about the forecast for that trough? Let's look at what Euro is showing here. And this is a map showing the average precipitation rate represented by those green shadings and even those spots of yellows as well. And the squiggly lines represent isobars, which are lines to join areas of equal pressure. But we're not focusing on the isobars. We're looking at all those green shadings showing where the rainfall is likely to be. So as we head through today, we can see it loitering around near the uh, northeastern islands. As I said, some additional showers uh, likely across the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands as well. But then as we head into tomorrow, we see that this is moving up and out. Eventually, it will vacate the northeastern islands of the Caribbean. So as we head through the week, the rainfall chance will decrease for the area. Not that there won't be any rain whatsoever, but compared to now, that chance is not going to be so high. However, guys, I'll keep you posted as always. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. And I really do hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.